Hey guys. Um, so, no, I did not dye my hair um, back. <laughs> um, it's actually a wig. Um, as you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a review on the this wig that I'm wearing today. Okay, so I went on eBay and I was looking for a wig cap because I wanted to make a wig out of all my extra red hair extensions. So I was looking and looking and looking and they're ridiculously expensive for just like what you're paying for. You're literally paying for a cap that you're going to sew hair onto. They were like $10, $15 and I was like, what the hell? So I was browsing through and I found this wig and it was $10. Um, I will include all the information down below. I totally recommend going to that eBay store because they have so many wigs. They are all beautiful. Um, I wasn't sure how good the quality was going to be because the wig was $10. So I was like, oh, it's probably not going to be that good of quality. But um, I read some reviews on the material that the wig is made out of and it's made out of, um, I believe it's called... Oh God. I'm gonna butcher this so bad. Can, can, Kane Kalon? Does that sound right? Um, it's K A N E K A L O N. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, and I was looking at another wig that they have, and it's the um, long blonde wavy, and it's so pretty. Looks like that. I don't know if you can see probably glary but it's really really pretty um i freaking love this one it's so beautiful it feels like real hair it's not too shiny so it doesn't look fake like what usually wigs do it's got the skin like fake skin for the part um the bangs didn't look like this when I got them. They were like down here. So I just cut them because I don't like hair in my face. It drives me absolutely mental. So I just cut them. So they're more like um, Betty bangs now than anything, which I absolutely love. When I had red hair, I really wanted Betty bangs. And the hairdresser was like, I want to cut you bangs. And I'm like, I can't do it. I can't commit to it. It's like... I can't style them. I don't like using heat on my hair, so I'd have to style my hair with heat every single day to get my bangs to be like Betty bangs, because that's what they use is like a straightener every single day on their bangs, and I just can't commit to that, and I really don't like hair touching my face. I feel like my forehead gets really greasy, and like, I just don't like it, but for a wig, I will totally do it, because <laughs> I just take it off if I don't like it. So yeah, um, this wig is, um... I will obviously leave a link below, but it's, um, I don't know how long it is. I'm going to guess about 18 inches long. Um, it's very, very layered, but, like, beautiful layers. Like, if my hair was long, I would want my hair cut like this because it's so pretty. The layers are gorgeous. Um, and the hair is so thick. Like, I got, um some wigs from the Halloween store. They were so thin. The Barbie um, makeup that I posted on my Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram um, and you'll know what I'm talking about. But the Barbie makeup that I did, I wore a Halloween wig from the Halloween store and it was $25. So 15 more dollars than this. And it was blonde and the material, like the hair, feels plasticky. It's really shiny and it's um, one length and it is so thin it like all of the hair together probably feels like a quarter of the hair that you get with this wig so it's like this much hair pretty much with the other wig so this wig when I got it I'm like oh my god there's so much hair like you can actually wear this around and not feel like you're sparse you know what I mean um but it's so pretty like I love it I feel like I have my red hair back but like even better than before um and all I did to put the wig on is I oh I guess I can show you how I put my wig on okay so this is me without the wig on I just took it off so I could show you guys how I put it on um so I just did french braids on both sides of my head and then pinned up the ends in the back it's really really easy just pin it up um a lot of people do different ones some people do like buns on the top of their head and I'm like you're gonna have a huge lump at the back of your head and you're gonna look ridiculous so I think this is the best method for wearing a wig 
because your hair is flat like your head is completely flat so you're not gonna have any lumps or anything now the wig comes with a wig cap it's got a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom um, the thicker band is for around your head I'm just guessing it would make sense um, <laughs> so I'm just going to put this over my head and so I go from the back and I pull up and I just make sure it's really tight and tuck in my hairs and now that my hair is all tucked in I'm gonna pull my ears out slowly so I don't pull out any hair with my ears and I pull back the front part so it's as close to the hairline as I can get so I have enough forehead showing so it's not black uh, where the wig is. So next I'm going to take my wig and on the inside of the wig there are these hooks that you can adjust the um, size. I did mine pretty tight. I don't have like a really big head. I just thought it would be better if I did it tighter. So it doesn't go falling off in public because that would be really embarrassing. So once you have your hooks all set up, you can take your wig. Um, you can brush it now if you want to a little bit so it's not really, really tangly. Honestly, this doesn't tangle very easily. Look how, like, look how thick the hair is. Like, it's really thick. It's beautiful. Oh my god. I can't stop touching it. Uh, I put it on my mannequin head and I was, like, jealous one day. Mannequin head because I wanted to wear it yesterday but my hair was wet. Um, so the hair is really, really thick. It's really beautiful. It's got a lot of body and I just... I'm in love and I look really crazy right now. <laughs> Anyways, so I just flip over the wig like so, so I can see the bottom part and I am going to take the bottom part and flip my head over. I will show you guys what I'm doing or try to show you. So I'm just going to flip my head over, pull the wig all the way to the back so I can rest assured. Hold on, I gotta make sure that it's really tight on the back and then I will adjust the front <laughs> um it actually turned out quite good um so we can just fix the hair now make sure that the part is where it's supposed to be it's really easy like boom and now you have beautiful hair so if you're like looking to dye your hair maybe and you want to see what colors look good on you, this is a great way to do that. Or if you are wanting to be pin up or something and you want to have, you can't commit to Betty Bangs but you want to um, have them every once in a while, you can do this. I think it's beautiful. Like I love this wig. Um, I don't know how good it looks personally on me because I'm getting used to it but I don't know if I have the balls to wear in public yet but I think it's so beautiful like it feels amazing it feels like real hair it looks I swear even better than real hair <laughs> it's just really gorgeous so I'm very very happy with my purchase I will definitely be repurchasing from this company um thanks guys for watching I'll see you guys soon